All right, guys, so this is another Patreon request, and this one comes from Bombastic. As, as always, if you'd like to send me a Patreon request, just hit the link below, head on over to Patreon, and uh, hit the fourth tier where you guys can start sending me requests for videos to do here on Patreon, uh, on YouTube. Bleh. This migraine's killing me. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, Bombastic asked me to do a Punisher story. Basically, um, he asked me to do, like, what, would, what do you would consider as... I guess the best way to describe it is um, Punisher the End. Although I have they done have they done Punisher the End? I don't think they have done Punisher the End. Um, I um, yeah. So so I guess like you could call it like the final Punisher story or something of. Uh, Or something of that nature, I get. I guess would be the uh, the right uh, the right way to do it. Anyway, so uh, basically, so this story is um, starts out with Frank taking on a gang of uh, drug dealers, and it has. Sp gone completely sideways the the fight between the drug de this this gang and frank has gone completely like out of control um what has happened is that it went from a from a warehouse and now it's gone into a public area in the middle of new york and it, several people are killed a whole bunch and when i say ki kid i mean people i mean kids a school bus was destroyed and it killed Night, it killed 25 children and the bus driver and several teachers as well this is a it, like it's friendly fire and it was all from frank's gun he opened fire with this uh, with a uh, saws machine gun and just let loose and friendly fire and now frank knows oh shit this is gonna get bad because frank has crossed a lot of lines but even if he didn't mean to, Frank has just committed the ultimate sin. Because now, <laughs> Frank Castle has literally... Frank Castle has literally committed the ultimate... Like, what is essentially just the breaking point for every superhero. They didn't like him before and would always try to arrest him or let him go because of how they helped him. But now... Even though Frank, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't in Frank's intention, he did cause that firefight to happen. And those gang members also ended up shooting several people, civilians as well. So the death toll is about, like, maybe 40 in total. And this is all Frank Castle's fault. So what happens is there's talk on the media, like, about gun control as well as, Frank, you know, Frank, you know, Frank Castle's life as a superhero. And... Captain America makes a speech like he addresses the nation like he uh, he from Avengers Tower he says Frank Castle's done he is public enemy number one we are the Avengers are going to bring down the Punisher and that's when Frank's like oh I'm fucked because <laughs> he already knows like yeah I have fought these guys I have I have teamed up and fought with it with literally everyone in this universe I am just a guy with guns. I am just a normal human being with guns. But I know how. Uh, but I know a few tricks of my own, and I'm gonna keep fighting. And um, Daredevil actually finds him first. Like, for, like if anyone's gonna find Frank, it's gonna be Matt. And uh, Frank show. Uh, excuse me. Matt shows up, and he's like, "You already know I am going to kick your ass." Before I do, I want you to let. I want to let you know that I'm gonna. That I'm not gonna take any pleasure in this. And I wanted to be the one to capture you, but he wouldn't let me do it alone. And Frank. And, and Frank's like, who? And a web line comes out, snatches the gun out of his hand, and he's like, hi. And then he's like, fuck, it's the kid. And that's when Spider-Man just comes flying in and it just whacks him. <laughs> and that's when Frank knows I'm about to get I am about to fight Daredevil and Spider-Man um, and Peter is like I should have done this the first time I saw you 
I should have known from the get-go that when we first met, you were going to be a monster. I don't care that, you, that you've done all this in the name of your family. You have just crossed a line, and, I, and Matt and I tracked you down to stop you before the event, because you already know that the Avengers are going to do worse to you, and they're already talking to the X-Men to help you find them, and you better be lucky we didn't bring Logan with us. <laughs> so, Frank has to take on Daredevil and Spider-Man, and I thought it was like kind of appropriate that it would be Frank, you know, Peter and, and Matt who take on Frank, because yeah, those are the characters, the two characters in the Marvel Universe alongside Wolverine, who have the most connection to Frank Castle. So they go, um, he goes two on one with them. He gets completely smacked around by both of them. And he realizes um, one of the major things is because, yeah, Spider-Man's not cracking jokes. And he's like, that's an immediate show that he's not playing games. Is when, when Spider-Man's not cracking jokes, that's when I know I'm screwed. <laughs> um, so Frank manages to get a, a slip away, but he is injured. He's wounded. And by this point, he's like, oh, God, there's nowhere I can go. And I'm not turning myself in. Because, and, and even, like, during the fight, Matt's like, "Just you should have just turned yourself in, man. We could have avoided all of this. But no. you could, And I'll tell you why you didn't want to do it. Because you think this, you know, you want to die by a hail of gunfire. That's the only way you can do this. Is like, it's just a hail of... You need to... You need to die in some glorious fight just so you can rot in hell where you fucking belong. Or you think you're going to go to heaven and see your kids. Well, let me tell you something. The only person you're going to see when you die is Mephisto, buddy. <laughs> and obviously that's... If, if you're, I know someone's going to go, oh yeah, he was Frank Castle. He, Frank Castle became Cosmic Ghost Rider. Yeah, that was kind of the joke. I feel like... Don, like if anyone was to make this an actual comic book, I would love to see Donny Cates write this book. <laughs> um, or just so he can make a dig at his own cosmic ghostwriter thing. <laughs> um, anyway. So, um, th so throughout the story, Frank is basically trying to avoid all of the heroes who are now like, get him. Um, and we are going to put him in jail and... Yeah, the next person he runs into is Logan. And and Punisher is like, Logan, dude, you kill people too. And I'm sure you've killed a ton of innocents. And he's like, yeah, that's why I'm doing this. Is because you did something I've done. The only difference is you didn't, uh, you know, you didn't probably regret it, did you? You just, call, you just put it in your head that it was friendly fire. Every I remember all the names of the people I've killed. And I've done everything in my power as long as I live to make up for it. You just chalk it up to, you know, casual, you know, collateral damage. That's what you chalk it up to. So you know what, Frank? This is where it ends. So him and Wolverine fight. Um, Punisher manages to get away, but he like Logan like cuts off one of Frank's arm, like just arm down to the elbow during the fight but Frank gets away and that's kind of the theme of the story is that this is like Fr Frank Castle's last stand um, um he takes on the, the Fantastic Four catch him he manages to like use a incendiary bomb to wound uh the thing and then uh, you know then he runs into the one guy he didn't want to fight at all and that is Cap <laughs> And Cap take you know Cap just throws his shield and he's like, Frank, Frank Castle, you are dishonorably discharged. And they fight. Steve just knocks the crap out of him. And that's when the rest when when Frank starts getting the upper hand even with one arm. That's when the when um, everyone else shows up, and they all gang up on the Punisher. He's using all of his guns just to try to get him away, but they're either bouncing off or not doing anything. And by the end of it, Frank Castle is captured and thrown into Rikers. And they're like, we're going to put you in solitary confinement till the day you fucking die. And, yeah. So that's where the story ends. It's just him in Rikers at, in in uh, in solitary confinement, just waiting to die. Because for, even Punisher has, like, his journal, and he's like, Punisher's war journal, final entry. I'm not going to be able to die. I'm too much... Like, I think about, you know, 
ending it myself, but I'm too much of a but honestly, I'm too much of a coward to do it. So he's there's no like grant like that would be such a awful ending for the Punisher, and I feel like that'd be almost poetic because the uh, Frank Castle always uh, like always thought about going down a blaze of uh, going down a blaze of gunfire. This would be the ultimate fuck you to Frank. Is that rather than just dying by a bullet or an explosion? or anything like that, he just wastes away alone in a hole in prison. Yeah. For the rest of his life. That would just be such a fuck you to Frank Castle. Right? <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Um, you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of this story? Did you guys like it, hate it? And uh, once again, I'd like to thank Bumbasket for this Patreon request. And like I said before, if you'd like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, where if you hit the fourth tier, you can send me a Patreon request, and check out the exclusive content over on Patreon as well. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time. Multiverse.